If you guys enjoy what I do, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps the channel and it's free and easy to do. Welcome to my channel where we cover the lore of Final Fantasy XIV. We cover the stories both big and small, the epic and the cute, the silly and the tragic. I hope you all enjoy the ride and welcome to the Chronicler of Lore. If there's one thing people know about adventurers is that they're always looking for something exciting and a little bit dangerous to do. And exploring ancient ruins is always exciting, which is why Nedric Ironheart tells the Warrior of Light about Amdapur Keep. It's a ruined fortress out in South Stroud that was built sometime back in the 5th Astral Era, which means it could be a very interesting place to explore, so you head to the South Stroud to check it out. The entrance is guarded by a woodweller named Maxine, and since Nedrick sent you, she thinks it'll be a good idea to let you know exactly what you'll be facing if you head into the keep. The place was built by the Amdapuri, ancient masters of all things arcane, and they built a lot of incredible structures like the keep all around the world. Unfortunately, the keep's been taken over by a cult called the Lambs of Dalamud, who have been summoning void sin, which is why the Woodwellers are more than happy to let adventurers run around and thin out the cultist numbers. So not only does the Warrior of Light get to explore some ruins, he gets to deal with some weirdos and some void scent, which makes for a fine way to spend a bit of time. However, to say that the cult had summoned a few void scent would be a serious understatement. There are a lot of them, and the cult is more of a small army than a handful of crazies, which gives you quite a few relatively dangerous void scent to deal with. But fortunately for you and the people of the Shroud, it wasn't anything that you couldn't handle. And not only do you deal with the void scent, the Warrior of Light all but wipes the cult out in its entirety. With the job done, the Warrior of Light heads back to Mordona, only to run into Lorianne, who's already heard word of someone clearing the cult out of Amdapur Keep. She of course didn't know that it was you, but that's a good thing, because a hero called Adestan has sensed something evil coming from the Keep, and he wanted to talk to someone who had already ventured into the place. So you head to Camp Tranquil to see what's happened. When you tell him who you are, Adestan immediately tells you everything. Arun Senna had sent him to investigate the keep, and what he found is bad, which is why he needed you. Even though the Lambs of Dalamud have been wiped out, and their void sense summoning stopped, the dark presence that's coming from the keep seems to get stronger every day. Woodwellers went into the place to find out why, and it turns out that someone finished the cultist's ritual, and summoned a very powerful void scent to lead a small army of the creatures. Adastan wants you to deal with it before it wreaks havoc on the countryside. Maxine's surprised to see that you ended up being the one to come and help yet again, but she warns you that your trip won't be the same as it was the last time. This new void scent has corrupted the animals, turning them into savage beasts and making the place even more dangerous than it was before. She hopes that dealing with the void scent leader will solve this problem, so you head inside to do just that. The void scent hasn't just corrupted the animals, even the plants have grown into monstrous man-eating things, and that makes your second trip into Amdapur keep all the more dangerous. And there are tons of lesser void scent to contend with that don't make the situation much better. But you fight your way through them all and come face to face with Ferdiad, who is a step above any of the other creatures that you face in the keep. However, that doesn't stop you from overpowering him too. Although while it looks like you finished him off for good, when the Warrior of Light leaves the keep, Ferdiad's laughter follows him. Back at Camp Tranquil, Adastan is happy that you've dealt with the problem, but he's still trying to figure out who summoned the Void Scent in the first place since the cult was dead and gone. Other than the animals and the Void Scent, there wasn't a single human alive in the keep, but the corpses of the cult members were still where you had left them after your first visit, which makes Adastan believe that the lifeblood of the cultists mixing with the runes of summoning that they had drawn had finished their spells meaning it was only right that you dealt with the Void Scent, since you had inadvertently helped summon them in the first place. This concludes the story of Amdapur Keep. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe, ding that notification bell, join the Discord, and if you really want to show your support, sign up to become a member of the channel. Until next time guys, later. <music>